Hello Gems, back again with another video. I hope all is well with you guys. All is well with me. I cannot complain. Okay, we're going to go ahead and jump into this reading. If anything about it resonates with you in any shape, form, or fashion, do like, share, and subscribe. Universe Spirit, give me light, clarity, wisdom, and the truth that my collective seek from this reading. Right now, we're going to see who's got a crush on you, collective. But we want to look at where they look like, where where you could possibly meet this individual. You know, we want to pick up on a few character traits about this individual, okay? So we're going to take a few cards just from this um, deck here to see first what could they possibly, what their features are, you know, what they look like. Okay, who's got a crush on my collective? Somebody got a crush on you. Okay, so with, here we go again. Somebody with blue eyes. Could cook, could be a chef, okay? Whoever this individual is, they got tattoos. Let me make sure, because this is a, this almost similar to the last reading I just did. I don't want that, okay? They got dark skin. All right. Dark complexion. Or burnt, but they tan easy. <laughs> All right. They got a square face. Okay. Let's see. What else? Oh, shit. We're going to take these and that's going to be it. Because I did, I, would, I said I want to take four more. And that's exactly four. Okay, let's move this over. So, they have a pale skin tone. Blue eyes with a pale skin tone. Then they, um, street fashion, tattoos that match. Okay. And then some of them could be bald, all right? That's fine. Might have alopecia. Or if it's a man, he could just be a bald man, all right? And last, look, man. Flipped over my in my hand. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, this is what we got. You got, a, you got someone crushing on you, collective, that's got a pale skin tone, or dark skin. We know they're bald with a square face. They wear street fashion and they wear, they have tattoos and they could possibly have blue eyes, you know, and they could cook. They'd be a chef, okay? And something's also telling me that this person could either have dark hair, dark short hair, if they have any hair, or they could be blonde with long hair. Okay. And something tells me that whoever this individual is, they can dress. Girl. <laughs> they can dress their ass off. Fashionista. <laughs> yeah. Serious business. Okay. Where is this? I like to keep my boxes nearby. Oh, here it is. Okay. We're going to set this aside and we're going to move on to... And we're talking about who this person is. That's crushing on you, collective. Hmm. Now we get ready to see what possible. What is this? What deck is this? Hmm. Where is the box? You know, I, I can't stand when I have stuff. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Yeah. What type of work this individual do? What's their career field? That's what we get ready to see next. All right. I'm going to move these down some because the way I'm going to put these cards, you'll see. I want to have some space. All right. Let's get into it. Split the day. And then we'll figure out where you're going to meet this person at. <laughs> where are you going to meet this individual? For some, this individual could be a dancer. And that looks like a man. Yeah. All right, so let's go. Mm, spiritual seeker. 
devotee of the inner faith, inner path, I'm sorry, and meditation, insight, practice. Hmm. So whoever this individual is could do something in the metaphysical, you know, realm, you know, like they into that sort of thing. They could have a store, you know, metaphysical store. They could, you know, be into all of that, like herbs and this, that, and the third. I'm just saying. Let's see what else. That one to fall. And we're going to take those two. Whoever this individual is could be athletic. You know, either a current athlete or previous athlete. They also could be a, it says revolutionist. But I want to say that whoever this individual is could, uh, it says here, champion of transformation, freedom fighter, pursuer of welfare justice. So whoever this individual is could be into law. You know, like they could be heavy into politics, you know, um, fight for the human rights of others. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that sort of thing. That's not bad. Okay, what else? We're going to take it. <laughs> so I'll say this motherfucker is a clown. Let's just say they are a comedian. Okay? Uh, yeah, a performer is what... It, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's see. Let's get four more, please. Can we get four more? And then we're going to move on to where you where you probably meet this individual. This one fell first. So they could be a tour guide. Okay. Also, they could be a journalist. Okay. They might be a doctor. All right. One more. Give us one more. <laughs> and then we got uh, Keeper of Epic Tales, Ballads, Legends. Whoever this person is could be a musician. And that's right under performer. Remember I said, you know, they're a comedian or whatever like that. Yeah. Okay, they could be a comedian that used props. Who knows? You know what? There was a comedian a long time ago when, we, when I was a kid. I can't call his name, but he used to have these little, you know, puppets and everything, and he'd be telling jokes or whatever like that. I can't, I can't think of his name. It's been that long ago. He was an old man then, so can you imagine? But anyway, so let's see where we're going to meet this person. Where are you going to meet this individual at? Okay. Down. I've got a crush on you. Yep, somebody's crushing on you, clear uh collective. Who's this person that's crushing on my collective? <laughs> Wait a minute. We're getting ready to get to it. I just have to shuffle these cards because it's been a minute since I used this deck. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, I like that. Now let's do it one more time. Okay, good job. Now let's split this deck. Don't matter about that. That's it. Okay, there. Oh, and there. And flip this back over. Okay, so we're trying to figure out now where is the most likely place that you might meet your person. And I'm telling you, this is broad, so, huh? Let's see. You could possibly meet this person at a park. That makes sense. You could meet, the, you know, like whoever this person is could be putting on a play in the park. You get what I'm saying? Performing at the park or whatever like that. Let's 
see where else. Uh, it says an elevator. <laughs> You could be on your way to the doctor office or whatever like that and meet this individual in the elevator. Mm-hmm. Or you could be on your way anywhere. Take it as a, this. You could meet any of these individuals in a park, whether it's a journalist, an athlete, or whatever like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be this clown, this performer, okay? I'm just, I just put it there. You know, because that's where I felt as though it should have been. But whoever this individual is, could you could meet them um, on an elevator as well. It don't have to. They don't have to be on their way to the doctor. They could have just been on their way home or wherever to see a friend at their job or whatever the case is. And you know, you met that individual there. So don't take it as that's concrete. You could have met this spiritual seeker on the elevator on their way to therapy, <laughs> all right? Or you could have met this tour guide on the way to their office on the elevator. So just put it however it resonates for you, okay? All right, now we have nightclub. All right, now. <laughs> we're gonna put that, we're gonna put the, no, nah, we're gonna put the ballast and the legend and the keeper of epic tales at the nightclub. All right, yeah. And here we have, come on. Here we have a river, flowing waters, river views, river bank views. Maybe you went fishing. You know what I'm thinking? You know those river cruises? Yeah, it could have been, you could have been on one of those river, uh, river cruises and met this individual. That's nice. And they're a tour guide. With pale skin. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We need how many more? We need four more. Four more universe. Four more cards. Okay. And what is this? A farm? We're going to put that with Miss Holistic. Miss, um, mi um, the Mystic Shop. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're going to put that. She, she have her own farm. She grow her own herbs. Okay, whoever this person is, is health conscious, whoever this individual is that you're going to meet. No, take it as it resonates and, and, you know, it's broad. So it could be anybody, any, you, any of you. Okay, we only need two more. Oh, well, one, it has a swimming pool. Okay, so this, whoever this athlete could be a swimmer. Professional. You know? So, and now, oh, and then this one flipped over, and this for journalists. Bustling Hub, Social Nexus, Lively Activities, Cultural Melting Pot. Yeah, whoever this person is, they used to traveling. Yeah, you got a traveling journalist that wears street gear. And I'm going to tell you something like this, right? And they, they, they'll they go anywhere. They Clearly, they got a passport. What I'm trying to get you to understand is, oh, we need one more, baby, what for my revolutionists. But hold up. But I'm saying this as far as this journalist is concerned. You know, now nowadays, we got all these podcasters that think they're sim they're journalists and pretty much are because they bring they they are they're everywhere different states different cities different countries you know and they share their information when they sell when they share their videos about whatever's going on in their country that's journalism you know because they got to edit the video they got to put the video I mean like for real you know so I'm just saying that's beautiful. Whoever it is, I'm picking up on somebody. Yeah, they whatever their age is, they real low key, low vibe. They blend in. They believe in b blending in. However, the natives dress, they gonna dress that way too. You get what I'm saying? They fit in wherever they go. That's a nice person to have a, in your life, collective. Somebody that's uh, multifaceted, world traveler. Okay, this is the last card, and this for our revolutionists. Hold on, I, I don't want to look at it just yet because I just. Knock this stuff over here. Come on. Within the vehicle. Commuting experience. Road journey. Yep. Whoever this person is, they go from one place or another. Spreading the word. You get what I'm saying? 
They're, they're, they're part of an advocacy group. Yeah. So that, those are the crushes. Okay? And you can take and mix and match this however it needs to be for you. Don't make anything fit. So it could be someone with a square face, dark skin, that uh, that's a revolutionist traveling and everything. They use their car motor to, for motor travel to get from one place to another. And they constantly on the go. They go wherever the trouble is. They go wherever they need to be. Like, you get what I'm saying? There's an attorney here in the United States. He's got a gang of uh, other attorneys and paralegals and this sort of thing. And, and he's more or less like a revolutionist. You know, he, well, no, I wouldn't say a revolutionist, but he's, he stands for truth and honor and business and this, that, and the third. And, he, you know, he represents a lot of different individuals. And he is dark-skinned. I don't know his name. I, wouldn't, I probably wouldn't have said it if I did. But allegedly, whoever this individual is, he's into helping others. We have someone that could be crushing on you that is a swimmer with a lot of tattoos. Okay? Very athletic with blue eyes. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? That we're street fashion. That, that. So go back through here. Listen to it again if you have to. But this is what I'm getting. And whoever this person is got pale toned skin. This we're going to break it down. Now we're looking at two different people. We're looking at a dark-skinned individual with a square face, bald, and he's a man. And that's that person that I told you about. I'm not going to say his name. I'm not going to say his name, but he's an attorney, a prominent attorney. And he do. He go everywhere, you know, in the, in the, in the name of justice. I don't like the fact that they got clown over here, performer. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe is he putting on an act? I don't know. But whatever, you know, like he, he have his, whoever this individual is could have a lot of meetings around parks or whatever like that. Or maybe the last time they had a little conference or, you know, whatever it is, it was at the park or maybe he liked to meet his clients or his coworkers, you know, his employees at parks, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he like to go meet uh, people, potential clients at parks. They take a walk around the park because it's a neutral area. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know how parks tie into him. Yeah. But he stands for justice. He's an attorney. Prominent attorney. Then here we have, I don't know who this swimmer is. But that's what they do, basically. They also could have a farm by a river. Not far from a river. They don't live far from a river. Every now and then, they might leave their little area. They live in a very rural, peaceful area. Okay? Every now and then, they might step outside their comfort zone to get a story. They're a journalist. Okay, so what they do, you know, they, they might leave their area to go wherever the masses are to get that story and come right back. You know what I mean? Get back to their comfort zone. But their athletic build, okay, um, in the herbal herbs and natural things, you know, eating, you know, vegan or whatever. You get what I'm saying? Just green. Oh, my. 